Hello children, how are you? I hope all of you are good. So today we are going to continue this chapter combustion and flame and we have studied up to the combustible and non-combustible substances. Okay. So here is one list. Materials are given and we have to tell whether it is combustible or non-combustible. Combustible means which will easily go under combustion and non-combustible will are the substances which are not combustible means which doesn't go under combustion. Okay. Now wood. Wood is combustible or not? Yes, we can burn it. So it is combustible. Paper. Paper we can burn. So it is combustible. Iron nails. We cannot burn. So it is non-combustible. Kerosene oil. Yes, it is highly combustible. Then stone piece. It is not combustible. Okay. So like this straw charcoal. You can. You can make the list. Whether it is combustible or non-combustible. Now there is one topic. One experiment is there. Okay. What is this experiment is about? that air is essential i told you without oxygen you cannot burn anything means combustion cannot take place without oxygen okay so one experiment is there given in your book that without air means without oxygen air is essential for combustion this experiment you can read out i'm explaining this experiment so initially what is there one candle, you can see here, one candle is there, one candle is burning. Now, you can see, one glass tube, we have covered this candle with one glass tube, okay. Now, so initially the candle was burning properly, now with the glass tube when we have covered it, then the oxygen is passing oxygen is passing from where oxygen you can see from bottom from bottom oxygen is going means air is going from bottom and from top air is going means oxygen supply this candle is getting from where from top also and from bottom also okay so this candle is burning got it now when this one when this one is covered when this one is covered you can see bottom bottom also covered and this one top is i think this one is also covered here from top it is not uh, once again from top air is not coming actually it is covered from the top but air is coming from this bottom part so this one is this candle is burning but when air is not going from bottom also and from top also from top also it is covered here surface is there so now what happened this candle is not getting the supply of air air means the supply of oxygen so now it uh, it has stopped burning the combustion is not taking place i told you that combustion will take place with the help of oxygen only same thing from top one wooden cardboard has been covered so this candle is also not getting oxygen so this is not burning so this experiment you can write air is essential for combustion so with an experiment so this is the experiment what we'll write we'll take one candle materials required candle cardboard okay glass tube so in the first case this is the first case air is entering from the bottom so this candle is burning combustion is taking place because it is getting the supply of air and oxygen so this is burning when it is covered then supply of oxygen is cut so it is not burning now okay from top also it is covered 
and from bottom also it is covered so oxygen we are not getting uh, this candle is not getting so it has been stopped so from this we can conclude that air is essential for what air is essential for combustion okay so this you can do now come to another part that is now this part this part you must have seen or you must have heard or watched on the television or cinema anywhere that when a person's clothes catches fire then what happens they are being covered with the blanket why with the blanket because blanket is thick so supply of oxygen from all the side is cut off okay from all the side supply supply of oxygen is cut off from all the side okay when the supply of oxygen is cut off from all the side so now combustion will not take place so it will stop burning that's why the blanket is being uh, the person is being covered with the blanket why so that the supply of oxygen will be cut off and it will the cloth burning of cloth will stop okay so this is the reason this is all about now there is one term ignition temperature what is ignition temperature okay one term is there ignition temperature so it is the temperature okay it is the minimum temperature or the lowest temperature at which a substance catches fire is called ignition temperature okay once again you see the definition then i'll make it clear to you so what is this the lowest temperature you can see here the lowest temperature at which substance catches fire is called its ignition temperature means ignition temperature you can see here if one piece of wood will be there one piece of wood will be there okay suppose this is wood and one piece of paper will be there okay you take matchstick and you try to burn this wood with the matchstick will you able to burn this wood it's not possible but with the matchstick this paper piece you will able to burn okay why why you are able to burn both are combustible wood is also combustible and paper is also combustible but why you are able to burn the paper but not the wood why because its ignition temperature is high its ignition temperature of wood is high and ignition of temperature of paper is low okay means suppose let us take uh, one example suppose paper is burning at 80 degree celsius suppose i am telling and this wood is when wood will get the temperature of suppose 140 degree celsius then only it will start burning when wood will get more heat then only it will start burning okay so it is one lowest temperature every substance has its own ignition temperature paper has low ignition temperature wood has more ignition temperature then coal coal is also having more ignition temperature you cannot burn easily coal okay when the heat will be raised too much high too much high the heat will be then only you will able to burn the coal otherwise you will not able to burn the coal okay but can you guess any combustible substances whose ignition temperature is less petrol kerosene petrol kerosene then lpg all these are what all these are all these are having very low ignition temperature okay that's why in petrol pump near the petrol pump it is ash no that smoking is not allowed then burning matchstick or anything all these are not allowed why because at very low temperature also it can catch fire so petrol pump it will catch fire and it will blast okay because 
the petrol has very low ignition temperature suppose we have to burn burn one wood piece of wood then what uh, actually we used to do one piece of wood is there okay then what we do we used to pour some uh, this one with what with kerosene why because kerosene has low ignition temperature so it will catch kerosene will catch fire at low temperature only now when this kerosene will burn then it will raise the temperature of the wood then temperature of wood will be raised it will increase temperature will be increased and that increased temperature will reach the temperature of ignition temperature of the wood then wood will also start burning okay then ignition temperature of coal is more okay then when this this wood will burn after that what will happen it will increase the temperature of the nearby and it will heat the coal okay then the coal will be heated too much then only the coal will also start burning okay so this is the reason that why we pour kerosene first on the wood then then after that we you must have seen while burning the coal what is the process what is the process on the wood kerosene is poured okay then after that after that the coal is put on the wood so first of all kerosene has low ignition temperature so kerosene will burn easily then it will reach the temperature of ignition temperature of wood then wood will also start burning then it will raise the temperature of coal also then coal will also start burning got it now one more example is there that ignition about ignition temperature you can see this figure okay what's happening this candle is burning and with the help of candle this paper is being burnt okay this paper is easily being burnt it is going under combustion easily but when we are folding this paper into the form of this cone okay and we are pouring water into it we are pouring water into it then what happened this water has become wet okay then what happened water has become wet now we are trying to burn with the help of candle so it is not burning you will observe that this this paper is not burning this paper is not burning why because with the help of water with the help of water here the ignition temperature of this paper has been lowered down okay it has become low because it is it has got wet paper has got wet so its ignition temperature has become has become what its ignition temperature has been raised okay so paper is being wet so all the heat is absorbed whatever heat is going to the paper all the heat is being absorbed by water present here okay so this paper is not getting the proper heat this water is not getting the proper heat okay so that it can burn why because whatever heat is going through this candle to this paper all the heat is being absorbed by the water present in the paper okay and this heat is not reaching to the paper so it is not reaching to its ignition temperature of the paper so this paper is not burning but in the second case in this case what's happening in the second case simply the candle is burning and it it is touching the paper now after getting heat after getting heat this paper temperature of the paper has reached to its ignition temperature so it has started burning but in this case what was happening the paper was not heating up to its ignition temperature why 
because all the heat was absorbed by the water okay so this is one experiment so how can you how can you explain with an experiment that for burning for combustion ignition temperature is required so you can write about this experiment okay now you can see this part when a house or any store catches fire then this fire brigade person he is pouring water into it into the fire why is pouring water into the fire what is the purpose all the heat will be absorbed by all the heat will be absorbed by what by water okay so all the heat will be absorbed by the water so it will lower down the temperature of these burning part particles burning particles of the house or store okay so now the temperature will become less temperature will become less means less than its ignition temperature suppose for burning 100 degree celsius was needed now by applying water all the heat was absorbed by the water so now the temperature has decreased to 80 degree celsius okay now it has reached to its temperature below its ignition temperature so it has stopped burning okay so once again just try to understand you suppose a material is there there is one material any piece of any combustible substance let us see c combustible substances so its combust its ignition temperature is suppose 100 degree 100 degrees celsius okay ignition temperature is 100 degrees celsius means the the temperature when the temperature of this substance will reach 200 degree celsius then only it will catch fire or it will start burning okay now a candle i am burning one candle here now this candle is providing heat to this material it is providing heat first of all the temperature reached suppose 80 degree celsius will it start burning it will not start burning again continuously heat is being supplied again it reached to 90 degree celsius will it start burning no it has to reach to its ignition temperature of 100 degree celsius then only it will start burning okay now again more heat is being supplied now it has reached to 100 degree celsius now when the heat will reach to its ignition temperature then it will start burning okay so for burning any substances it has to reach its ignition temperature okay then now it has started burning after reaching 100 degree celsius now suppose if we have thrown water into it if we have thrown water into it so what happened all the heat is absorbed by the water and its temperature has lowered down when we throw water temperature is lowered down why because heat is absorbed by the water so now its temperature has reached to 80 degree celsius okay now in 80 degree celsius will it will it continue burning no because its ignition temperature is 100 degree celsius so in 100 degree celsius only it will burn but by throwing water all the heat is absorbed by the water so its ignition temperature has been lowered down its temperature has been lowered down then its ignition temperature so it has stopped burning okay so same thing here just try to understand this concept what's happening suppose this part it is burning this house is burning suppose 500 degree celsius here heat is how much by burning all this total heat is how much suppose for catching fire for this house 
heat required is 120 degrees celsius okay now heat heat temperature of this house has reached up to 140 degrees celsius okay so it has reached more than is its ignition temperature so it has catched fire okay now after throwing water what's happening after throwing the water what's happening heat is being absorbed by the water okay and heat is being absorbed by the water so temperature has lowered suppose it has lowered down to 90 degrees celsius for catching fire it is required 120 degrees celsius and after throwing water the lamp temperature is decreased to 90 degrees celsius so it is less than its ignition temperature so it has st stopped burning okay to burn anything to catch fire it has to re reach its ignition temperature got it now different substances have different ignition temperature like paper if you ask about paper okay paper has low ignition temperature then wood has low ignition temperature but more than paper then coal coal has more ignition temperature means suppose paper will burn at 70 degrees celsius wood will burn at 90 degrees celsius coal will burn at 120 degrees celsius like this okay so ignition temperature means when they will reach up to this temperature then only it will start burning okay so can you tell me which is having the lowest ignition temperature lpg lpg have you seen liquefied petroleum gas the gas which you burn at home it is having very very low ignition temperature very very low ignition temperature with the spark of your this what do you call it uh, lighter with the spark a small spark comes out how much heat it produces? very less heat so with that spark also it starts burning so just imagine how much low ignition temperature lpg is having okay then lpg then petrol also petrol is also having very less ignition temperature in less temperature only petrol start burning kerosene also diesel also okay so all petrol diesel lpg all these are what all these are having very less ignition temperature okay so there is one substance uh, there is some substances called as inflammable what we call it inflammable okay inflammable inflammable substances what are inflammable substances the temperature which are having very very low ignition temperature okay very very low ignition temperature those are called as what those are called as inflammable substances once again i am repeating what are inflammable substances the substances which are having very low ignition temperature means which will start burning at very less temperature those are called as inflammable substances what what are the example of inflammable substances kerosene then diesel petrol petrol then petrol diesel then lpg liquefied petroleum gas then cng okay all these are having very less ignition temperature means what they start burning at very less temperature so they are called as what inflammable substances they are called as what inflammable substances got it so what are inflammable substances the substances which are having very less ignition temperature what is what is 
ignition temperature the minimum temperature required for a body to burn that is called as inflammable uh, that is called as ignition temperature you can see here inflammable substances okay then how do we control fire just i have explained this part got it now we are going to study types of combustion what are the different types of combustion so three types of combustion we are going to study one is rapid combustion one is spontaneous combustion okay and one is one is what explosion okay explosion is one type of combustion only it catches fire or not in explosion so first of all we'll study about rapid combustion what is rapid combustion okay so simply the gas burns rapidly and produce heat and light simply the combustion in which combustion takes place rapidly and produces heat and light that type of combustion is known as what rapid combustion means simply it catches fire like burning of lpg okay burning of lpg then burning of candle burning of paper all these are what simply it catches fire with the burning of matchstick only so they are called as rapid combustion then another one is spontaneous combustion spontaneous means on its own burning something on its own okay it will start burning on its own like like burning of forest fire uh, fire in the forest it starts burning on its own or not in the fire fire takes place in the forest it it start burning catches fire on its own or somebody go over there and catches catches fire over there so burning of forest that is called as spontaneous forest uh, spontaneous combustion means which start burning on its own without any external cause okay those are called as spontaneous combustion so the types of combustion in which a material suddenly burns into flames without the application of any apparent cause is called as spontaneous means without any means while burning paper in rapid combustion what was there we were burning with the help of uh, matchstick or any external source we were trying to burn those were called as rapid combustion okay external cause is here what matchstick okay so then spontaneous co combustion means there is no any external cause it starts on its own that is called as spontaneous combustion okay then in coal mines also you must have seen it starts burning on its own so that is also called as what spontaneous combustion then another one is explosion okay it's given or not one is yes it's given explosion another type of combustion is explosion 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 of bomb okay explosion of crackers all these are third type of combustion that is called as explosion okay so we generally have fireworks fireworks on festival days in diwali coming diwali you'll see those are explosion of crackers those are what those are also what combustion only but third form of combustion which is called as explosion so when a cracker ignited a sudden reaction takes place with the evolution of heat and light and sound so what is explosion explosion means it produces heat light as well as sound don't forget this in explosion we get sound in previous one in rapid combustion and in spontaneous combustion we were not getting sound but in explosion we get sound so the combustion in which reaction takes place and it produces heat light and sound okay so that type of combustion is called as what explosion okay so three types of combustion you have to remember one is rapid combustion second is spontaneous combustion which takes place on its own without any external cause and third one is explosion that is your burning of cracker 
explosion of bomb okay all these are explosion okay now okay now we are going to study another topic that is flame okay so what is a flame first of all just pay attention here what is a flame so the substance which vaporizes during burning gives flames the substance which vaporizes during burning gives flames for example kerosene oil and molten wax rises through the wick and are vaporized during burning and form flames okay so for the flames you can write up to here means anything burning and it is being vaporized means this can you, this one you can see this is a candle so this candle is burning this candle is burning and this is the wax part of the candle this one and this is the flame part okay this is the flame part means after burning it produces flame so how it is producing flame so these mo wax part this wax part is being molted and with the thread that is wick with the molten part it vaporizes and produces flame then you can you must have seen in the kerosene lamp in kerosene lamp also what is there suppose this is the lamp or dia you must have seen what is there in dia oil is there this v is there cotton cotton part wick so with with this cotton part what happens the oil is raised with the help of cotton and this oil are being burnt and being vaporized so this flame is being produced got it so the substance which vaporizes during burning gives flames okay like kerosene oil and kerosene oil in in the lamp then dia any oil which whichever oil is being used in dia those are also being vaporized and they produces what flame so all these are this is the flame okay then in lpg also you must have seen in lpg it is also producing flame why how because lpg is in the form of liquid okay although it is gas but it is compressed and it is converted into highly pressurized liquid and those liquids are being vaporized and produces flame here also you can see it is producing flame how it is producing flame by vaporizing the wax part okay moom you call it no then in this lamp also you can see here kerosene is there and from here wick is there wick means the cloth part cotton part from this cloth part or cotton part this oil is being this oil this oil reaches up to here and it is being burnt and produces this flame okay so without vaporizing it will not produce flame so about the flame you can write now structure of flame this is very important part the structure of flame this is the most important part of this chapter so we'll study about the structure of flame about this this is the flame and we are going to study about the structure of this flame okay so this is the most important part of the chapter okay so here we go this is the flame now a flame is having different zones okay three zones we are having one thing you tell me you must have seen the flame then the flame is of which color is it orange color is it yellow color it is bluish in color which color it has three colors okay if you observe it carefully then you will find that outer part is bluish in color very thin 
but it is outer part is bluish in color okay then the middle part the middle part is yellow in color okay and the most inner part most inner part is which color most inner part is black in color you can see here, this part black in color here okay so it has three color first of all it is three color so most outer part is blue in color okay then the inner part is yellow in color then most inner part is black in color okay now we'll discuss one by one each part three zones of the flame flames uh, there are three zones of the flame i have sent you one video also i send you one link about the different three zones of the flame uh, i have sent you before only you must have seen but still i am going to explain this okay so one is one is outermost zone outer zone then middle zone then innermost zone outer zone middle zone and innermost zone three zones are there okay so i'm going to explain you this part suppose this is your candle this is a candle okay and this is the flame okay so outer part is what blue in color then middle part is yellow in color and the innermost part is black in color innermost is black in color okay now the outermost part outermost part this part outermost part outer most outermost part is hottest part it is hottest part why it is hottest part can you guess why it is hottest part outer part why because because from surrounding from surrounding in surrounding what is there air is there air is there in air what is there oxygen is there oxygen is there so outermost part is in direct contact with oxygen outermost part is in direct contact with oxygen okay so it is in direct contact with oxygen so i told you for combustion what we need oxygen and outer part part is in direct contact with oxygen so combustion will take place here mostly combustion will take most part of combustion will take place where outer part why because it, because it is in direct contact with oxygen so combustion most part of combustion will take place outer side so combustion is taking more here so it is more hot so that's why it is hottest okay and it is blue in color got it that's why it is hottest part why outer part is hottest because it is in direct contact with oxygen so it is in direct contact with oxygen so mostly combustion is taking place in outer part of the flame so it is hottest part okay then come to this part second second zone second zone that is that is your middle zone 
आउटर जोन इज ब्लू इन कलर मिडिल जोन मिडिल जोन इट इज ऑल्सो गेटिंग ऑक्सीजन इट इज ऑल्सो गेटिंग ऑक्सीजन बट नॉट एज लाइक आउटर जोन इट इज गेटिंग ऑक्सीजन बट नॉट एज आउटर जोन सो इट इज मॉडरेटली हॉट मीन्स नाइदर टू हॉट नाइदर टू कोल्ड ओके सो इट इज मॉडरेटली हॉट ओके मॉडरेटली मीन्स इन द मिडिल नॉट वेरी हॉट इट इज हॉट बट नॉट वेरी हॉट एज आउटर पार्ट वाई बिकॉज इट इज इन कॉन्टैक्ट विथ ऑक्सीजन बट नॉट इन डायरेक्ट कॉन्टैक्ट ओके इट इज कॉन्टैक्ट विथ ऑक्सीजन बट नॉट इन डायरेक्ट कॉन्टैक्ट ओके आउटर पार्ट वॉज इन डायरेक्ट कॉन्टैक्ट सो कंबोशन वॉज टेकिंग प्लेस मोर ओवर देर सो इट वॉज हॉटेस्ट पार्ट बट मिडिल जोन इट इज नॉट इन डायरेक्ट कॉन्टैक्ट विथ विथ ऑक्सीजन सो कंबसन कंबसन इज नॉट टेकिंग प्लेस एज मच लाइक आउटर जोन कंबसन इज टेकिंग प्लेस बट नॉट एज मच लाइक लाइक इन आउटर जोन सो इट इज मॉडरेटली हॉट मॉडरेटली हॉट ओके देन कम्स आवर इनर पार्ट इनर पार्ट इट इज कवर्ड विथ आउटर एज वेल एज मिडिल पार्ट सो इनर पार्ट इज नॉट गेटिंग ऑक्सीजन इट इज not getting oxygen so combustion is not taking place here no combustion is taking place so it is least hot part very less amount of combustion is taking place so it is hot but very least hot okay that's why that's why if you will see in candle if you will keep hand like this you can with the finger you can do like this inner part okay but at outer side if you'll keep the hand like this just above the flame like this what will happen if you'll keep your hand just here if you'll keep your hand just above above what will happen you'll feel too much hot simply you'll withdraw your hand but you can cross the finger here okay quickly but here you cannot keep your hand why because outer part is there and here most combustion is taking place okay combustion is taking place and it is the hottest part that's why we feel hot here got it so i hope this is clear to you and once you'll do the reading of the book you can easily understand okay so i have explained this part outer most then middle zone so three things you have to remember so you can see here you can see here outer zone complete combustion is taking place it is blue in color okay then middle zone partial combustion combustion is taking place but not completely partial combustion is taking place and it is yellow in color then third one is innermost zone so what is that inbound wax means very less amount of very less amount of combustion is taking place so it is least hot okay that's why you can see here outer part is written hottest part then middle zone is moderately hot and innermost is least hot okay so you can write the structure of you can make the picture of the flame and you can explain the structure of flame you can explain about this okay then we come to come about the fuel what is the fuel fuel about the fuel i have already discussed three types of fuel okay now today we can study about this ideal fuel what is id uh, fuel efficiency okay one is caloric value okay caloric value so what is caloric value so just try to understand what is caloric value suppose 1 kg of paper i am burning what i am doing burning 
and it is producing 200 kilo joule heat okay 1 kg paper I am burning and it is producing how much heat 200 kilo joule now 1 kg of wood I am burning okay 1 kg of wood I am burning and it is producing how much suppose 500 500 kilojoule of heat it is producing 1 kg of wood then I am burning 1 kg of coal I am burning then it is producing suppose 1500 kilojoule okay 1500 kilojoule of heat is burning so can you see all the amounts are same all the amounts are same you can see here 1 kg paper 1 kg wood 1 kg coal but which is producing more heat in the same same amount of 1 kg coal is producing most heat then wood is producing then paper okay so in 1 kg all these are fuel paper is fuel wood is fuel coal is fuel why they are fuel because after burning they are producing heat okay they are producing heat or not after burning so they are fuel what kind of fuel all three are solid so they are solid fuel okay so in 1 kg paper if you burn 1 kg of paper it is producing 200 kilojoule 1 kg of wood is producing 500 kilojoule of heat and 1 kg of coal is producing 1500 kilojoule so which is producing more heat in the same amount of fuel coal so coal is having more calorific value what is that calorific value okay so what is calorific value the amount of heat produced okay amount of heat produced in 1 kg of fuel remember this the amount of heat produced in 1 kg 1 kg 1 kg remember this one amount of heat produced by 1 kg of fuel is called as its calorific value so different fuel will have different calorific value like we have seen here paper is having different it is producing in 1 kg amount it is producing this much heat I am giving you example okay so what is calorific value the amount of heat produced by burning 1 kg of fuel that is called its calorific value got it so that is called is as its calorific value okay calorific value this one okay so you can see here the amount of heat energy produced on complete combustion of 1 kg okay you can see here can you see the amount of heat energy produced on complete combustion of 1 kg of a fuel is called its calorific value okay so its unit is kilojoule per kg per kg per means 1 so how much heat it is producing how much kilojoule it is producing in 1 kg per kg so its unit is kilojoule per kg okay suppose i'll give you one question with one example i'm i'll make you understand suppose one kg of wood any fuel i'm not telling wood or what one kg of fuel uh, let us take another example a fuel is there 5 kg fuel is there a substance is there 5 kg substance is producing producing 1500 kilojoule of heat okay 5 kg of 5 kg of substance is there any fuel is there and it is producing how much 1500 kilojoule of heat it is producing can you tell me the calorific value 
what will be the calorific value so calorific value the formula is what the formula is amount of heat produced by amount of fuel what is the formula for calorific value calorific value is equal to is equal to amount of amount of heat heat produced okay amount of heat produced by by mass of the substances mass of fuel okay mass of fuel so this is the formula of calorific value so now in the question whatever question i have given you what will be the calorific calorific value what was the heat produced 1500 and what was how much what was the mass of the substance 5 kg 5 kg so 5 Five three is a fifteen, and this zero zero. Cancel out. So how much we are getting? Three hundred kilojoule per kg. Per kg. Okay. So this is the value. Amount of heat produced by mass of the fuel. That is the calorific value. Okay. Now. you can see here the calorific value of different substances cow dung cake cow dung cake do you know what is that cow dung cake uh cow dung cake uh, round round you must have seen it is made up of cow dung and it is being burnt okay cow dung cake uple in hindi we call it uple somewhere it is called as goitha in hindi okay somewhere it is called as uple that is cow dung cake so its calorific value is 6000 to 8000 kJ per kg means 1 kg of cow dung cake if will burn then it will produ produce 6000 to 800 kJ of heat wood what is the calorific value 17000 to 22000 of kJ of heat it will produce by burning 1 kg of wood Okay, one kg of coal will produce how much heat? This much heat. One kg of kerosene will produce how much heat? Forty-five thousand kilojoule heat. Okay, so which is having most highest calorific value? Hydrogen. One kg of hydrogen, if you will burn, if it will go under combustion, it will produce how much? One lakh fifty thousand kilojoule of heat. Then biogas, LPG, one kg. what is the lpg lpg gas cylinder it is how much 15 kg okay 15 kg so 1 kg of lpg is producing how much 55000 kJ of heat this much heat 1 kg of lpg is producing then cng cng vehicle then methane gas methane gas produces this much okay so simply 1 kg of fuel is is releasing how much heat that is called as its calorific value okay then burning of fuel leads to harmful products then burning of fuel produces uh, air pollution and so many problems are there global warming also takes place due to all these okay so combustion of most fuel releases carbon dioxide in the environment increase conduct concentration of carbon dioxide in the air is believed to cause global warming okay so global warming all of you have studied from earlier only you are studying about this global warming okay so burning of fuel produces carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide increase the what heat of the environment which is called as what global warming okay and global warming what effect it is causing it is melting the glacier glacier it is melting the glacier due to which the sea level is rising okay so this is the ill effect of burning of fuel then 
what are the harmful effect you can write on your own okay then acid rain also occur all these you can do on your own one more thing at the end of the chapter this part what you have learned this part very important informations are given the substance which burn in air called combustible okay oxygen is essential for combustion so this is the this is the what summary of the chapter okay important informations are given ignition temperature is the lowest temperature at which combustible substance catches fire means it starts burning inflammable substances have very low ignition temperature okay all this we have discussed so in short all the information of the chapter is given here got it so here we end with the chapter so once you'll do the reading everything you'll understand and you'll try to do the exercise question or you can take the help from what internet okay to solve the exercise question explanation today is the longest class i always take longest class with class 8 only with you only okay so go through this chapter and i have explained everything so you can do the question answer few questions i'll give you which you have to do okay okay children better you do the exercise questions okay it will help you burning of burning of wood and coal causes what pollution of air a liquid fuel is used in homes is what liquid fuel which liquid fuel is used in home is kerosene okay then lpg is also in liquid form but generally we call it as lpg fuel must be heated to its what to its ignition temperature before it starts burning anything will start burning at its ignition temperature only so it has to be heat up to its ignition temperature okay then fire produced by oil cannot be controlled by what cannot be controlled by water okay by oil if fire is taken place by oil then it cannot be controlled by water other things other fires can be controlled by water but fire produced by oil cannot be controlled by water because why because oil is lighter than water so oil will come at the top and again it will start burning okay then explain the use of cng use of cng in automobiles has reduced pollution in our cities yes because cng petrol and diesel were producing more carbon particles after its combustion whereas cng is gas so it is producing less carbon particles in the air which has reduced the pollution okay then compare L lpg and woods as fuel lpg is liquid proof, uh, liquid liquefied petroleum gas and it is highly pressurized in liquid form and it releases less less carbon particles in the air which produces less pollution whereas wood wood is a solid fuel generally solid fuel produces more pollution why because after burning it produces more carbon particles in the air so it creates air pollution okay so rest of the questions you can do make a label diagram of candle flame okay and you have to explain it okay so i have explained this part name the unit in which calorific value uh, value is measured kilojoule per kg okay explain how co2 is all this you can do once you'll do the reading M means important part already i have explained okay so have a nice day and see you in the next class thank you now uh, this part is over okay this exercise is over and it is the longest duration of class i have taken with you almost one hour okay so this chapter is over and you i hope you'll able to understand thank you